What a night at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre, a celebratory night. We're with Kylie Moss, who posted a 57.94. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's all she's got to say. I'm happy. Uh, Kylie, uh, where did this come from? Um, I think it's been building for a while. It's been a long time since I was in the 57s. It's been three years, and um, it feels really good to be back there and to just know I can build off of that. Britt? You look amazing in the water, I just have to say, but your stroke is, you're riding the water well. How does that bode for your 200 tomorrow? Yeah, I think I'm holding a lot of water, which is good, and as my stroke rate slows down a little bit in the 200, I think I'll be able to just capitalize on that strength of holding the, the water and uh, put up a good 200, hopefully. I think you've got to get on the podium. I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Kylie. Thank you. Thanks, Kylie. Uh, you know, here's the thing about it, Britt. Uh, Kylie Moss uh, hasn't swam that fast for three years. Uh, it's been a long journey getting to this point. It's such a long journey. And, Dev, I just am looking up in the stands because we, right before that, we pulled her in. We're just, we're alive, we're moving. I was trying to get a wave on mom and dad because I know they are thrilled. Her sister's here. She just said her grandparents are here. So many people are here to cheer her on, and she is very excited and will have such a special hug. Uh, let's talk about Jeremy Bagshaw. Coming into tonight, uh, 17 years. He's been at this. His fifth Olympic trials. His fifth Olympic trials. And in 2016, when he was at his prime, he missed the team by quite literally a fingernail. And he stands here eight years later and made the team by a fingernail. I don't think this building has ever been more happy for someone in their lives. Pretty special stuff. We should also mention that Orly Rivard qualifying for her fourth Paralympics. It was a night for the veterans. So wonderful to see that. But also first timers Ingrid Wilm also locking up a spot at the Olympics her first. Ingrid Wilm just had sheer relief. And I also have to give a shout-out for Lauren Wigington. That was an awesome comeback after the 400 AM. A slight disappointment being right off that standard. But today, he made it under that 4 by 200 relay team as well. And he also had that sense of relief and a deep breath. All right. So that's uh, a sense of what happened here tonight. A dramatic special night for a lot of swimmers. Quickly, Britt, tomorrow, Summer McIntosh back in action in the 400 IM. She's a world record holder in that event. And we have a ton of other athletes that can potentially get under that standard as well. So Julie Brousseau, we've seen swim really well. We see Ella Jansen. We also have Mary Sophie Harvey, Sydney Pickram. Who will swim it? There's so much still up in the air, which is what makes this sport so exciting. And Josh Liendo in the 100-meter free. He was scintillating in the 200-meter free. Watch out, fast swimming. It all continues here at the Toronto Pan Am Sports Center on Thursday.